Not much tidier than below. But at least we have the sky over our heads again. Our rendezvous point is this way. Space Brothers! Battle Marines! Fox is back. Wait, wait, I can't... Okay, about to say. I better be able to walk over this. How do I play this game again? It's been, it's been a few days, and Fox quickly forgets how to play things if he doesn't play them every single day. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna be... We're gonna... Oh. About what to say. To gain by slaughtering so many? So terror demoralized the militia. Cruel, but effective. This was no strategy of war. For orcs, this was sport. Yes, uh, Captain Titus. <laughs> Get out of my way! No, Leandros. Yeah, I'm about to say like they're they're overthinking this a little too much. Orcs are not that sophisticated. Orcs, this is their this is their main form of entertainment. I, yeah, and you know it because if there's no humans to fight, they'll just fight each other. This is, it's just what they do. To ask why an orc fights is to ask why you breathe. And to ask why, if you held your breath and you had the willpower to overcome your very intense desire to breathe, you would just fall unconscious and start breathing again, and orcs would do the same in regards to fighting. There's no room for them in the south ward. Put them on the second level. It's completely full. That's where I've been moving the dying. That's it then. Bar the doors. You're closing the infirmary. We are being overrun. We must focus on the wounded already under our care. This is the only way. Take the servitors to keep the crowds back. Now, orcs, you know, hopefully this game I mean, I think this game primarily displays the orcs in their kind of like, oh, they're actually a... Oh. Off world. So those are we take over the manufacturer. We will have a damnable time getting them out. We are ultramarines. Orcs are not a problem. If we had a week, perhaps. But by then the orcs will have worked out how to dismantle the Titans. So what those are called rocks. And you look at me. I, oh damn, I can't make my character look at you in the face. So imagine I'm Captain Titus looking you in the face. It is not spelled R-O-C-K. That is not how orcs spell rock. It's R-O-K. Rocks. Base Marine recognized. Ooh, Granting the, mm, the Laz Cannon. This is the equivalent of a sniper rifle in this game. Now that, now hold on, hold on. You need to look at me again, even though you can only see the back of my head. The Laz Cannon is not typically used as a sniper rifle. It's actually an anti-armor weapon. It does a whole lot of damage to one specific target. And uh, let's read it right here. The Astartes Man Portable LAS Cannon fires a charged energy blast along a powerful laser and can cut through almost any armor at extreme range. Features powerful optic scope with variable magnification. I don't know how to improve the magnification on this game. We will have to figure it out. So that's why I swapped it out for the Stalker Bolter. How, how do I zoom in? I don't know. Oh, okay, middle mouse button. Anyways, you would not use this weapon to zap people, typically. I mean, if it was a really person that was worth zapping, perhaps, but... Oh, speak of the devil. A big shooter. He looks pretty cool, actually. Or rocket launchers on the high ground. Or either that, or he's a flash kid. I can't tell. There we go. But we could always just blast him with our laser or our laz cannon. 
Yeah, we, one thing we don't have is the charge pack that goes on the Space Marine's back. In the multiplayer, where you actually can use this weapon, go for the headshots here, because that will ensure that they die in one hit. So that, as you can see, this is a pretty appropriate replacement for our Laz or our Stalker Bolter, and that's because they're doing a similar job. That said, this weapon carries much less ammo. Like we've already gone through half of our total ammo. Oh, I, did I miss? Oh no, it's just that you specifically need to get headshots to take him out in one hit. I don't have to reload, though. That's one thing that's nice. Evacuation center theta is no longer but yes, the this thing is a little bit like, um, I guess if you've played Halo... The, uh, it's a little bit like a Spartan laser, but uh, the LAS cannon, it's a very common anti-armor weapon. Like, it's mounted on vehicles, like vehicles will use it in order to destroy other vehicles. Aircraft may use it, uh, even warships use extremely large versions of them, which are known as lances. Oh, more dialogue. Report to Lord Sharp. The Fabricator General of Grya shares my vision for the power source. Today, offered up the Titan Manufactorum to test the device's capabilities. There is a risk that the power source may overload and destroy the entire facility, but it is an acceptable risk, and the Tech Priest does not need to know. It's fine. It's not a big deal. If it self-destructs, not a problem. The, um... What a, what a name. Inquisitor or like Lord Manufactorum Guy Sharp. I guess that's better than being like Lord Manufactorum Guy Blunt. Or like Lord Manufactorum Guy Pokey. Oh, God, this place is just full of lore. I'm surprised you showed up. There's no one here. I don't know where else to go. Workers, assemble. People are saying the Skitari are dead. I think people are right. The increase in worker absences has been noted. Delinquent workers will be disciplined. Caleb, what are we gonna do? Wow, the Skatari are dead. That's impressive. The Skatari are quite deadly warriors. The uh, you probably keep hearing the name Tech Priest come up. The uh, the Tech Priests are part. As I said earlier, they're part of the the Machine Cult, and the Skatari are the Machine Cult's military arm. They are quite deadly due to their very, they have very advanced technology for their, for, for their rank, for being, you know, like they, their infantry are cybernetically enhanced. They use very, very unusual guns. They, they're extremely powerful. Oh. Green skins. We have a guardsman that need, oh, no, I was too slow. <laughs> wait, wait, how do I melee? That's how I melee. I just needed a, a what, what, did so much damage, did, did it a little, gr oh, it's a guy up there. No, 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 I didn't realize there was a guy shooting missiles at me. There, I'm fine now, it's okay. That is how a, that is how a true son of Gilliman tactically withdraws from battle by screaming and, and just running in a panic towards the nearest exit. A Gilliman is, uh, he is definitely not spinning in his stasis field. I'm sure, I'm certain of it. He, he is very proud of me. <laughs> Which I, I guess at the current time frame, Gilliman is alive again. I guess he was never technically dead. Gilliman is the Primarch of the Ultramarines. And I, I'll be the, so someone asked me in the comment section, what do I think of that? Ah, I kind of don't like the idea that the, that the Primarchs are coming back. I haven't really followed the, the recent story too much. And that's part of the reason. I just... Oh, there's another... Wait, this is the wrong weapon. Where is you? Bam! Blast your face! Now we'll just use our regular gun on these guys. I don't want to waste too much of my ammo. Oh, there's another big one. The right tool for the right job. Right there. Got him. There we go. I, I, I love how I just heard Sedonis go, Orcs, like, oh, yes. I, I never would have guessed that we were fighting, that, that, that we've discovered Orcs. Like, thank you. Tactical. Brilliant tactics. Wait, is that a... Okay, never mind. We're gonna go berserk! Well, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I didn't say it. We're not going berserk. We're gonna go, um... Fear Righteous Fury! That's what we're doing! Like, berserk? Never. I would never go berserk. I would never do that. Never. Out of my way! You! You! Ugh. And you! You're next as well! I've had enough. I, I guess good work, brothers. I don't know what you did. But good work. I, I, I compliment you anyway. What, what, what happened? Did you stop me? More rocks. See, look, if you look at the subtitles, if you don't believe me, you can just look at the subtitles. Ah, yes, yeah, so this is... What are rocks? This is an orc drop pod. That's right. That is an orc drop pod. That's how they drop into battle, in a giant pile of trash. As you can see right there, I'll zoom up on it if you don't believe. You'll think that's a giant pile. Well, I guess we can't see it very well. Yes, take cover near the giant explosive objects. That is... I mean, like, they're orcs. What, what can I say? There. If you're seeing, looking at this thing, and you think that this is not a giant boulder with, like, garbage strapped onto it and makeshift engines, then I have news for you. That actually is a giant boulder with scraps of garbage on it and makeshift engines, and that is an orc drop pod. How does it work? Well, it relies entirely on the orc's unusual... Oh, no! 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 There are too many of them! I must courageously change my tactics. Codex Astartes allows this. Codex Astartes allows the... the Oh my god! I gotta roll away! No! Wait, why, why it exploded? Stop exploding! Stop! Codex Astartes calls these tactics Courage and Honor! That is what it is called. We are victorious. Only slightly so, though. I may need to turn on Fury just to heal myself. Unless we can find someone that I can beat up and kill and take their health. I am. Feeling a lot like a Blood Angel doing that, considering Blood Angels are... I don't think it would be inaccurate to call them vampires. So, I got another comment about, um... Maybe I didn't make it clear enough that I don't think... Just because the Ultramarines have a problem with other chapters, and I think their criticisms are valid, doesn't mean that I don't like those chapters. I think the Space Wolves and the Blood Angels and the Black Templars and... Oh gosh, I should just pick this up. Benjamin, plans have changed. Hannah hasn't returned. I think they're going to close off that whole stratum. I have to get to her. You'll be back from the food depot before we are. Tell your mother where I am when she arrives. And both of you, stay there. Pack up the food as best you can. Reports are that the orcs have already reached the Manufactorum. We'll need to leave as soon as we're together. I'll be home soon. But they didn't manage to get in it. Anyways, as I was saying, just because I agree with the Ultramarines' criticism does not mean that I also think those chapters are super cool, and that's because if every if injured, single chapter was exactly the same, it would not be what it would defeat the purpose of them, and two, there would be no, no there would not be enough drama. It must be drama. Wait, what have I done? I just swapped out weapons thinking that that was, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Crisis averted. I'm just gonna do this and heal. So as you can see, I can just activate this as a way to heal myself. Might have been a waste. Maybe I will regret it. But I'll never... Fox regrets nothing. This is, looks like an area to fight in, yep. I had a feeling we would be fighting here. No! No! Stop shooting me! I am not someone you're allowed to shoot at. I am the, the guy who you don't shoot at. I'm, I'm on your side. I am also an orc. I'm just blue. You wouldn't have, well, I guess that doesn't count. They would shoot me anyways. No, oh, they're orcs. No! Why don't any of my tactics work? Oh, so the one thing that kind of, oh, that guy's stuck in the terrain. So the one problem with long range combat is it's a little bit harder to, uh oh, he's found me. Now, Take the Melta Blaster gun thing, shooting thing. There we go. Oh, no, it overkilled him. I can't drain his health for hit points. 
That was all. Oh, there's another one. Here we go. Another chance. It's gonna take him a moment to get here, though. So I, I'm pretty sure I can shoot his buddies a little bit. I don't think he'll mind. Oh, I can actually knock him back. I didn't know that. Oh, that, that's that was much more. No, no, I got caught in the deadlock. Okay, fine. This time I will not. I will not derp around so much. I will storm their location in furious and violent combat. This is how proper space marines do things. Oh, I lied. This is how proper space marines run away. No. <laughs> You cannot defeat me! I am... I am someone who can't be defeated! You cannot defeat me! Storm the battlements! No! This was a terrible idea! I am not liking this idea! No! I don't like this idea! No! No, that wasn't good. Brothers, I'm afraid I'm crippled in brain with my strategies. Fine. I didn't want to do it the slow, grinding way, the patient way, but we will do it the slow, patient way. I didn't want to do it this way. Do you understand me? This is the way of boring non-entertainment. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Fine. We will, we will, we'll trade fire at long range. This is what, this is the safe way to do it. I wanted to do it the fun way. But alas, I'm afraid I must. Engage the enemy in logical combat. Like so. Wait, where is that? I, I know there's a big shooter. Yes. Yes. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where he was. Right there. Terrible aim. Awful aim. There we go. There. As you can see, the patient way wound up being the efficient way, but it's also the boring way. God damn it. Damn it. I can feel the ratings decreasing by the minute. I can already hear the comments like, Fox, you coward, why don't you charge into the battle and also win? Why must we suffer from long range? <gasps> Who did that? Who did that? Oh, this guy apparently did it. No, stop shooting me. Okay, we're gonna use the matrix. What? That did a lot of damage. Holy crap. All right, no more silly commentary. You have angered me now. Now you will pay the price of... Wait, I'm, I'm giving silly commentary. I will destroy you properly this time. There will be no mercy. The mercy. Wait, I can't stop it. I. Now I will do slow motion time to blast you in the face, and I'll blast you in the face, blast you in the back, blast you in the back, there we go. Some of you may have thought this game would be too easy. It has its moments. It has its moments. How much ammo did that give me? Oh, a lot, actually. There we go. There, we have won. It just took... It, it, I needed to be serious for a moment. That's what it took. Give me resources. It's it's the big shooters. That's what it is. It's the shooter knobs. Those rocket launchers they have, they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage if they hit you. And they don't even need a direct hit. Where the heck are we? Structures down and rebuild. This time on top of a mass grave. I guess this is the moment we should lament the losses. Logan said to meet at that monument. What monument? Oh. I guess that's where we're going. You didn't. Oh, there's his slugger. Wait, what? Oh, it's an ambush. It is a thing that they do that I don't want them to do. There we go. This weapon is doing the job. I think you all agree. I think you all will say, good gracious, like this shooting the big laser Isaac the Zapper Dapper is zappernating their faces. Indeed. That is a most 
astute observation, if that is your sentiment, and being my viewers, I know it is. Okay, so, wait, is that the, there's the Inquisitor. Are you gonna help us fight, or are you just gonna have a cutscene and then run away? Inquisitor Drogon, we need to get you off planet before we're overrun by orcs. You were exposed to the unshielded power source. In the generator room, I saw it. You held raw energy from the warp. How are you still alive? The power source conducts warp energies. The stuff of chaos. Heresy. My work against the Xenos has the Imperium's blessing. Can your blessed work help us against the Orcs? My research is of the utmost secrecy. The Imperium forbids its use without sanction. Consider that your Imperial sanction. Very well. The power source fuels an experimental weapon at my research facility, the Psychic Scourge. It could destroy the Orcs. You didn't think to bring up this Scourge weapon before. The Psychic Scourge has never been test-fired, Sergeant. If it malfunctions, it could crack this planet in half. We're out of options. We fire the weapon and take our chances. Does the Codex approve of this action, Titus? She's at the Calcis facility, my research laboratories. It is a fair distance. We will need transportation. Captain, we aren't far from the plaza where Lieutenant Mira was headed, the Imperial Guard rally point. They will have Valkyries. We can fly to the research facility. Let's find this Imperial Guard outpost. Hold on a second, brothers. We need to have a chat about this. We're just gonna shoot this experimental weapon that could destroy the planet. I don't care if there's a middle of an orc invasion. That seems like... I don't care if we have an Inquisitor who's allowed to make this... Even the Inquisitor seemed like it wasn't a good idea. What are you doing, Captain Titus? Your job is here to secure the Titan, not blow the planet up. Oh, and I know some people will be like, oh, but the, the, the planet is being overran. Well, let me tell you, the Ultramarines typically will sacrifice an entire company in an attempt to save a planet. They won't just jump to the, they will typically have the, the, the answer that we will make a suicidal attempt to save this planet. And if we fail, then you can blow it up. Why are you going for blowing up the planet as your first option, Titus? What is the point of these rooms? There's nothing in the- Inquisitor, explain this. Have you taken all my supplies? No, no, you can't pass. Inquisitor, stop hoarding all the ammo. Don't you understand that I need it? I need it! I only have- I only have six plus one shots in my last cannon. Don't you understand? I need it. Out of my way, Sedonis. You two have betrayed me. You're, you're stashing hand grenades and not sharing them. If you are injured, return to your quarters. The machine god will watch over you. Oh, this is like a church. And I guess this is where you would deliver the sermon. The sermon, oh, brothers, they gather here today. Uh, give me ammo or I shoot you. That, that's my sermon. Oh, it worked. I didn't even know that was there. The, the, the Emperor provides. The Emperor heard my calls for ammo. He has blessed me with munitions and supplies. What? Could, could you please speak up a little more clearly? Wait, what's happening over there? 
that looks like Imperial Guard with a plasma cannon. I, I will support them from over here. Oh, 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 they might not need it. They're doing quite well. Yes, the plasma cannon is plasma blasting them. There, we've helped. We've, we've done, we've done our duties as space brothers, as battle marines. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if that was, I, I, at first I thought that was actually just decoration. I didn't think we were actually going to go there. Whew. Now I must... Ugh. The glorious melee... Wait, wait, let, let me... Let me use this weapon. Let me use it! No! I desire to use it. Who's shooting the missiles? Those guys are doing the ouchies with missiles. I don't like it. Where, where are they? There we go. Oh, it's a lot of missiles. There he is. There he, okay. No more, ow! Stop shooting the missiles! Oh, are we being overran? I should probably do something about this. Did I like just backfist him in the butt just to like get him to come up? <laughs> hey, there he is. Too many, sp too, ma too many effects. I can't see. There we go. Oh, there's more of them. Right there. Right there. Inquisitor Drogon's alive. I can't believe we survived that. Inquisitor, your wound is slowing us down. I can manage. Brothers, take him to the Valkyries. I will draw the orcs off and meet you there. Give the power source to the sergeant then, Captain. No, Drogon. The orc chieftain wanted the power source. When his orcs see I possess it, not you, they will follow me. Move out. Which route to the rally point, guardsman? Bastion Primus is that way, my lord. But it's all orc-held territory. Oh, so we didn't really talk about the warp, did we? Yeah, that's an important subject. Very complicated subject as well. Can't, we, we could probably cover 0.1% of the warp in this in this uh, in this video series. Warp is the name of, I guess, what you'd call an extra planar dimension, and it is the key to faster than light travel, amongst other things. When you are traveling at light speed, you're basically skipping from point A to point B by moving into a different dimension, and therefore the dimension allows you to kind of take a, I guess you could view it as a back alleyway shortcut, and then you leave the warp at hopefully your destination. That said, the warp is highly, highly unstable. Oh my. A new weapon. And the jump pack again. So what we have here, brothers, is the Thunder Hammer. The mighty Thunder Hammer is the rarest of Space Marine melee weapons. Yeah, in fact, they are. Each one of them is like a holy relic. Like, they're a really, really big deal. You shouldn't just be able to like find one. I, I mean, maybe we have a... I mean, it wouldn't be unreasonable if the second company had a Thunder Hammer in its armory. Each blow discharges a powerful blast from the hammer's dedicated power field. Ranged weapons are limited to pistol and bolter while wielding yep, yep. So the just like the power axe, the thunder hammer is a power weapon. And let's go ahead and give it a swing. As you can see, it's very slow. But it is extremely powerful. Let's let me see if I can can I Yeah, we still have the kick. Okay, we have that. I know we can slam the weapon on the ground. Oh, yeah, there we go. And if you're thinking we get a whole new set of executions, we do. Probably get some of the old classics as well. And also, I have the jump pack, so I can... To the skies, I can take it. And with combined... Wait, where do I go? I guess I just go through here? Doesn't look like I would go through here. 
Yeah, this is it. I'm about to say, this looks remarkably like an invisible wall. Oh. Down. Where do I go? I am lost. There must be another way. Retreat to the drop pod. Maybe there's a way. This way? Wait, I just went backwards, didn't I? I am stupid. I dumb. I stupid. I dumb. Dumb. Oh yeah, that's another thing. We get a new shoulder charge when we have a jump pack on. We have the... Yeah, there you go. So we can do a jetpack shoulder charge like that. That's another thing we have. You can actually use that in the multiplayer. Sometimes I would use that to surprise people. Oh yeah, we were talking about... The... Oh, we're not going to be able to talk about the warp. But I have the thunder! This is a place where I would fight enemies. I could just look at it and tell that this is a place where I would fight enemies. You wish to be hit with a hammer? Here we go. Here we, here we go. Ooh, into the stomach. Now we can just bash our way through people. Yep, the old classic. I want to see execution. Show me what we can do with this weapon. Give him, the, I guess, the old Triple H. Really, that's all the enemies. No, I must have more executions. Show me what this thing can do. No, I want different executions. I demand it. What is the point of all these areas I can jump on? There weren't really that many enemies here. I'm sure there'll be more up ahead, though. So the Thunder Hammer was one of my favorite weapons in the multiplayer because with the correct perk, you would kill enemies in one hit, other players. But you had to be kind of sneaky with it, so like, you didn't just run up the people because, you know, they knew it would kill them in one hit. So you'd actually have to- What are you doing, Captain? Keep at it. The Greenskins are swarming your way, leaving our path open. To Lord Sharp. The weapon is working. Integrating the power source makes this weapon far more devastating to the alien biology than I'd envisioned. My Lord, I believe that this weapon this psychic scourge could end the alien threat against the Imperium for all time. Oh yeah, so the warp, real quick. It is how faster than light travel is done, but it's a very strange, bizarre world uh, where the rules of physics don't quite apply. And it is also where psychers, that's how you create their, that's how they create their power. They create their power by drawing upon warp energy, because the, basically si magic power, I should say. It's not very logical, so it requires an illogical source of power. Wow, did that seriously? Wow. Ow, it is very painful. I am very sad by this. I am sad by this. Bam! Now, oh my God, I just, just I just destroyed the weird boy in one hit. Well, it is the thunder hammer. Yeah! More! Okay. Maybe not. I got a little excited there. But it did. There's no one here. It's just us. No! Let go! Wait, I see. I don't need ammo right now. The Thunder Hammer is all the ammo I require. But yes, uh, you'll notice that Leandrus mentioned that warp is the stuff of heresy, and it's because the warp is particularly corrupting due to the uh, the people who live in the warp and make the warp their home. And because the warp can grant powers that can defy the normal laws, giving you a rather decided advantage, uh, combined with the rather interesting beings that live in the warp, it's known to tempt people to do very strange things for the promise of supernatural powers. A treachery, treason, ergo heresy, are just one of the things that could result from this. There can also be a whole host of other strange things like mutations and insanity. D death, most god. Death is probably the most common thing that happens, though. Now you will suffer. 
Bam! Bam! Oh man, the <laughs> combination is insane. I'll destroy! Now, now I have no mercy. Before I had mercy, now I don't have mercy. You will be destroyed! Bam! It's like this way. The Thunder Hammer combined with this is like basically a cheat code, but it's okay. Fox never plays fairly. He goes, ooh, bam, bam. We owe you our lives. I am an instrument of the Emperor's will, Trooper. Now indicate to me the nearest concentration of orcs. Aye, my lord. Master's Plaza is just past this hab complex. It is swarming with beasts. Not for long. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's our whole strategy. We're trying to, like, distract the orcs. Oh! I opened the doors for me. How nice. How generous to just show me the way instead of forcing me to find the way myself! within sight of the Imperial Guard Bastion. Ah, yes. You want some of this? Bam! No, I want to do the super smack. Oh, there's not enough orcs to bam! I want to bam someone so bad. The one, the one thing you do have to be careful about with the thunder hammer is that it is really slow, so you can wind up taking a lot of damage before you get to bam people in the face. You! Here we go. Now you'll suffer. There we go. No! Oh, come on, tell me that we only have one unique execution for the Thunder Hammer. That will make me sad. I will be sad if that is the case. Did you not die from that? Really? Your physical stamina impresses me, green skin. There we go. There we go. There we go. No! Destroy! Destroy! Yes! Yes! Bam! I, 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 there's just something about the impact of the, like that power attack. It's just so satisfying. Okay, I might be getting a little bit surrounded, so I must now take to the sky. Oh, that was the other... I haven't used that one before. Okay, I probably shouldn't be locking myself into an animation when I'm being shot. Who is doing the shooting? Who is doing the shooting? I demand to know. Give me the answer of who's doing the shooting. Ah. It is... Ah, ruining your day, boy! There we go. I, I do think that the, the Power Axe has cooler animations, to be honest. So fight now. There is someone! Oh man, look at the range on that! I, I, I thought when I hit the wall that it would ruin the attack, but... Where is this happening? There it is happening! I will crush! And I will smash! Oh! There's another one! There we go! I forgot I have my gun. I can also shoot people! I can shoot them with my gun! No! I've had enough of you! Oh, I think I, I think we only get two execute. I don't think we get a distinctive execute. Who did? I saw something over here. That looks like a big one. Now you suffer! Yes. Yes! Just as I suspected they suffered. Not very long though, to be honest. Here comes the Fubama Lamb! Fubama Lamb! Wait, who's shooting me? Who has guns? Melee combat only. Only a coward would fight me in my current level of strength in ranged combat. 
Are you cowards, orcs? There we go. Uh. Yes. Most satisfactory. Get squished! Wait, I see something! Right here! Bam! Ammo! Implying that I would run out of ammo in a time like this. With this accuracy, yes, I probably would run out of ammo in a time like this. I see him up there! There we go. I like how the final blow actually releases another shockwave. And that actually allows you to get another... There we go. It's funny that the the actual shockwave doesn't do that much damage, but it, it kind of like guarantees a a stun for an execution. That is so insane that like I could just I mean like I said you're supposed to just kind of be like in a super. Am I just killing these guys? I mean, there's always a point to just killing guys. Is this what I'm supposed to be going for? Am I supposed to be going for you? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be going for this guy. I think that's. I think he's just warping more and more guys in. And this entire time, I'm supposed to actually be stopping him. How dare you! How dare you! What, what are these little wimpy guys? Where is he? There he is! Oh, this guy has a lot of health! There we go. Let's get him. I'm taking your staff. There you go. Introduce you a little closer to your own staff. There's still more of them warping. Is there more of them? Are we good? I don't know why he died. He just kind of did. Yeah, I, I think I was actually killing these guys this entire time for no reason other than to, like, satisfy my own desire to kill them. Okay. I don't know if that's... I feel like that's not supposed to be there. I'm just saying. I feel like that is not supposed... Out of fuel. Out of fuel. Well, at least we get to keep the Thunder Hammer, but now we're not nearly as powerful without the jump pack. This is Primus Command. Orcs inside the perimeter. Move to secondary defense positions and hold the line. Now this is a proper defensive position for the Imperial Guardsmen. Although it's ser oh that looks like a turret. Wait, wait, here we go. No! Why can't I change? Yeah, so they got a turret there? Look at this. This is this is this is much better much I don't know, they, that vehicle was destroyed. So they're uh, you know, they're still obviously having some problems. There's a Valkyrie. That 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 thing there is um that, uh, it's kind of like a VTOL. It is used both for carrying cargo and, man, that machine gun is just mowing them down. Very nice. But yeah, the Valkyrie is used both for transport and as a kind of an attack. It's not a helicopter, as you can see, it's a VTOL. But, you know, it serves a similar purpose, too. It's like a Harrier, I suppose you could say. Welcome to Bastion Prime. Sergeant Sedonis briefed me about the Inquisitor and his doomsday weapon. He said you require air transport to the Calchas facility. Your Valkyries are the fastest way to reach it, and we have no time to spare. Your men are already on board their Valkyrie, and the squadron's ready for liftoff. We'll get you to Calchas with all speed. It's time the Imperial Guard brought the fight to the Orcs. I feel like there could be a few more Imperial Guardsmen than two here, but, you know, you know, I'm not going to hold it against them too much. Pilots, this is Lieutenant Mira aboard Valkyrie 1. Look sharp, all cries inbound. Captain Titus, I need a gunner to man the heavy bolter. Do you now? 
Oh, it's Storm Boys! We're gonna attack by Storm- Oh, come on. You Storm Boys would not be able to shoot me with your pistols in the middle of this. Storm Boys and Bombers. Yes, if, if you're, 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 you're not, your eyes are not deceiving you. These are... Oh, wait, those guys need help over there. Nope, nope, they're not doing too good. Yes, they are. Like I said, your eyes are not deceiving you. They are actually beating that aircraft to death. And yo, your eyes are not deceiving you. They are orcs with giant Acme-style rockets strapped to them. Normally, Storm Boys do not fly this effectively. The, the store, the, the, their rockets are well known for misfiring. The orcs have it all. Like, okay, okay, okay. This actually takes no. I must save them before they like. Okay, let me not light up their, their vehicle. Where? Oh! Oh! They brought a dropship! Oh, I'm gonna actually... Okay, good, I have infinite ammo. Hey! Hey! Stop shooting me! Wait, what are you doing here? Stop it! Stop it! I need to take out the infantry that are on board! I can't hit them though! I'm also running... I need to... Cool the heat down! So this machine gun has infinite ammo, but on the other hand, it does overheat. The weapon overheats. That's what that bar on the bottom is. How can I not kill you? Do I need to destroy this thing? I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't. What's happening? Oh, he got him. Good. Oh no! He fell into the turbine! I don't remember this cutscene very well. Well, Rest and Pepperoni's Val, also him. Rest and Pepperoni's both Valkyrie pilots. Coming well, I would two. say... Valkyrie 2 is down. I require immediate transport. I would say this is probably a pretty good... Wait, I still have my... Oh no, where did my Thunder Hammer go? WHERE DID ALL MY WEAPONS GO?! Oh no, I'm not making you mad, I'm making you dead. I was gonna say, this would be the perfect place to kind of just chill out, but apparently we are still under attack. There we go, slow motion time for maximum accuracy. Oh, I just want to take out this guy shooting missiles at me. Oh, no, more. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to end the episode. Oh, I'm just trying to end the episode. I'm not even trying to fight these guys. I don't even have my stalker bolter, I don't think. No, can't let him hit me. No, there's so many of them. How dare you! I just want to end my episode to stop it, you jerks! You jerks! That's what you get. That's what happens when you don't let me end my episode. Are they just gonna come? I have no idea. They do seem to be running out of bodies to send at me, which is saying something for orcs. There we go. Okay, I think I can finally say this is good enough for this episode. I can't, I want to tell you more about Warhammer, but they keep just sending stuff at me. I'm just, just, there's just so much going on. Oh wait, I had my stalker bolter this entire time.
Wow. Could have done that the entire time. Why did you, you failed me, brothers? Why did you tell me? Why? 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 That's over this episode. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. Like this video if it was entertaining and somewhat informative. And do the subscribing for more Warhammer 40,000 um, Space Marine content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.